G'day guys, welcome back. I'm going to have a play with another ghost pour today. Um, I did the metallic one, I did the red and yellow one and I'm going to go with some blues, kind of bluey greys. Now, I don't want bright and cheerful, I want like a dark, moody, spooky looking kind of a feel to these pores. I think they're kind of ghostly the way that the ends kind of just fade away. So that's my interpretation. I did a couple of little practice ones earlier, just trying to pick the colours that I wanted. Uh, this one that was the first one. I think the pale blue was a bit too dominant on that one. Uh, and then I did this one, I took the pale blue out, but now I think it's too dark. <laughs> so I'm going to do one hopefully in between those two. Um, actually, let me know what you think of this one. This one hasn't got the, the defined stripe down the centre. It was a little bit different. So let me know if you like that style or not. I'm not too sure about it at the moment. Um, so all global paints today and um, pouring medium is my 65 glue 35 water So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to coat the Canvas in black first and then we'll get started. So I've got my, um, my black And this one here is called scuba diver um, That one oh I didn't get it out. It's metallic pearl uh, deep space is the navy. The light blue is light blue. Maybe I could darken it a little bit. Hmm. Maybe I could mix these two together. Actually, that might work better because these two are very similar. Might do that. Might put a little bit of that one in that one. And then over here, I've got a metallic antique silver. Um, I did initially make up just a regular silver, but it's quite similar to the pearl so I went with the darker the silver because I wanted to get that more of a greyish look anyway. Um, I think I'll leave it. I'm just gonna put less I'm gonna put less of that one in. Let's move these cups out of the way and I'll get started. Uh, the black is about four parts well it is four parts pouring medium to one part black. Just leave a little bit in the bottom there. Um, probably need about 350 grams of the black paint. This size, this is a, um, oh, actually, no, you don't need that much. I was going to do the bigger canvas. I, it's over there. I've got a big canvas out. You only need about 250 grams for this size. What am I thinking? Yeah, I was going to do the big one and then I thought, no, I'm going to save the big one for um, another metallic. I'm going to do another metallic pour, um, ghost metallic. Mm, so I don't need all the black. <laughs> oh, dear. I changed my mind at the last minute. Okay. Yes. Oh, I hate working with black. So messy. Let me just spread this out. Yes, yeah, so for a 30 by 60 centimeter canvas, need about a cup of black. Uh, eight ounces, 240 grams is what you'll need for this size. Let's just cut the sides. I don't want to leave too much paint on the surface. So if I do this and just cover it, I get a nice thin coating. Okay, I think that's run over now. I'll just finger paint the sides. Could have done it off camera, but you guys just like to see all the little bits and pieces, don't you? Okay. And make sure that you've got your paper towel organised. 
uh, to pop down here. And that's just to uh, clean your little swiping tool off with. Get it there, get it organised. I've got two different sizes today of my palette knives. You don't have to use palette knives. You can use whatever you like. I just like using the palette knives. Um, I'll just have to wash my hands. Hang on one sec. Okay, when your hands are covered in black paint, there's only so much a dad cloth will do. You really have to go and wash them at the sink, don't you? Now let's just pop these bubbles. Oh, this torch has been giving me grief lately. It's been, been a bit of a flamethrower lately. Give that a bit of a torch. Oh, I can see little bits in there. Are they little bits? What are they? I'm not sure. I don't know. I can't pick them up. It must be little blobs of un unmixed paint, I think. Not sure. Mm, I don't know. Um, <laughs> once I start swiping, hopefully they'll move. Okay. So the idea is to run three little thin strips of colour through the centre and uh, swipe swipe down so you don't need a lot of paint where's my middle about there you don't need a lot of paint just a little bit i like to start off the canvas so that you don't have a blob like that and finish off the canvas as well so you don't need you know a lot of paint you can what you make up you can use for a few pores. I don't mind if my colours overlap each other. That's fine. Just a thin strip of the blue, the pale blue I think. I want it in there, I just don't want it to take over like it did last time. Take the cup right around so it doesn't drip. Okay, is that all my colours? I think so. Oh, the pearl. Haven't got the pearl. Here we go. Okay. And I think I probably got enough black in the middle there actually without adding any more. Got that black through the center. So I'm not going to add any more. I'm just going to use what's there and drag that through. So let's go with the little one first. So some of them I'll go all the way down. Some of them I'll just go halfway. And I want to try and get little um, wisps, or points at the end. And just wipe your little tool each time. I find the faster you go, the better it is. So some of them will be wide like that, some will be narrow. Just all different. Now there's no silicone oil in, in these today. I wanted to try them without the silicone. So where you can see the lines there, the rows, yeah, you can see them. I'm just going to break that up a little bit because I don't like seeing that. 
And if there's an area that you don't you like as much as the others or you think, oh, it really could do with a little bit more of a particular colour in there, you can pop a little bit more down. Oops, jumped. Okay, I don't like that. Let's do that again. <laughs> oh, dear. So you can go over them a few times. Just make sure that you're wiping your tool each time. Now this is very dark over here, so I'm going to pop a little bit of this pearl just there. And a little touch of the, the blue. And then swipe over those again. That's better. So you've got a, a lighter colour there. It's a bit tricky. It takes a bit of practice. You can go over it a few times if you need to until you're happy with the look. I'm going to leave it like that for now. Um... I'm going to turn around and do the other side. If I want to, I can still come back and do more on that side. But I do want to make sure that I've got enough negative space left. I don't want to, you know, cover all the black. I like to have the negative space. I think it's what makes it striking. Now, I'm going to change this over, put a fresh piece down. Fold it in half so it's double thick. Okay. Now the pearl, I don't see a lot of the pearl really. I might put a little bit more on. I like how I'm just getting little hints of that pale blue. So, yeah, really happy with that. And there's um, natural cells coming up in there. I haven't torched it. I'm not sure if I will. We'll see what happens. Okay, let's go the other side. So same thing, use the black that's in there. There's plenty of black, so I don't really need any more. I like how these edges are dark along here, whereas on that side, they're a little bit paler. More pale. I don't know if pale is a word, is it? <laughs> Sometimes I use just the, the very tip and you can hear it actually scratching the, the canvas, which I don't mind. Get those little strips. If you do have like a bald area on your canvas, if you've gone too deep, you can just fill it in afterwards with some black paint find that I do have to kind of make a point like that to, to get that wispy edge like that that I want. See now I don't like that how it's done that so I'm going to have to go over that and just go, go all the way down. Can you guys hear that scrape? I don't know if you can. So do a few short ones and then a long one, you know, just change it up a little bit. They don't all have to be the same. I do like to have a full one down the edge there. Oh, I like that. Woohoo. Oh, I've done like five practice ones this morning and I didn't like any of them. And I was about to give up and say, I'm just not doing blue. But I did persist. You can see, oops, clean that off. You can see still see that little line there of where the blue was so just trying to break up these lines a bit I don't want to have like a definite um, you know stripe through the center so much so I'm just trying to bring in a little bit more of the black now just to make it a little bit more 3d And 
and just disguise that that center see how there's you can see the blue line through there so if I just kind of break it up just a touch just so that it's not so stripy I guess if you know what I mean oh I really like that one you guys I don't think I'm going to fiddle with it too much more I really really like that yes yay finally <laughs> um what about that blob of blue there okay that was a bit much that blob of blue that's better All right backing away now very very light torch just basically to pop some bubbles maybe bring up a few little natural cells here and there I don't want a lot of them if they come up that's fine it's a few that popped up in there so I'd like some with cells some without um, love that look at that there now I just need to touch up my corners a little bit really really like this one you guys this will be getting a coat of varnish for sure see through to the canvas in this little area here so just popping a bit of paint on that and that I just wanted to make that a little bit kind of black on the corner I think that's about it mm. just have to disguise that little it was too too stripy through there I mean you're gonna see you know where your edges are that you've swiped but just try and you know disguise them a little bit I think how's that looking are there any more that I need to do? I think that's about it. Pop a little bit of black there and just swipe over that just to disguise that little edge there. Oh, there's a straight line. See that there? See that straight line? Don't like that. Just go over that just a touch. All right, uh, I think I'm done. As I said, I don't wanna fiddle too much. I really, really like it. Um, shall I show you, I'm just gonna, actually I'll just zoom in a little bit and then I can. Okay, let's zoom in. Is that better without the light? I never know. Okay, so I'll show you these ones again. That was the one that had all blue. Didn't have the light blue in it. And then this one, I think, had a little bit too much of the light blue in it. And then this one, I think, is a combination of those two. So, yay, really like that one. Okay, let me take you down for a close-up. Oh, I'm really happy with this one. I can't believe it's taken me five tries to get it. <laughs> I was just about to give up. I thought, no, nah, can't do it. I'm just going to give up. But, yeah, no, I couldn't. <laughs> I had to do it. See, I'd had, I've got the paint made up, and I thought, no, I just have to, have to keep going with it. How can I stand? It's going to show you, show it nicely. Okay, so there's some of this. There's lovely blended colours in here. It's really pretty. 
Oops, we're not focusing very well, are we? So there's that blue there fading into light. Where the pearls, where the pearl has picked up the colour, it's it's really shimmery, like it's changing from dark to light. It has all these different shades, and I think that's the pearl that's done that as well as that light blue. So I think putting a little bit of the light blue in was actually a good choice. Just gives a little bit more dimension, doesn't it? You can see there, it's getting some natural cells. The paint just sort of vanishes into the darkness, especially over here. The paint just wisps away. That's why I think it's kind of ghostly. It's only a reason why I thought I'll call it a ghost pour because of those little wispy edges that just disappear into the darkness. A little puff of smoke. So you've got some lovely little points there. More natural cells. There we go. All right, happy, happy, happy with that one. I'd be happier if my camera would focus properly. I guess it doesn't know what to focus on. So much to look at. All right, I'm exhausted. Um, I do have my big canvas standing over there. Over there. And I think I'm going to still do that one. Probably just go and have a bit of a clean up and a sit down and come and make some more paint. Um, and I want to go again with those same metallic colors, but not put any silicone in it because when I did the silicone um, This guy here Oh, there he is um, I put the silicone oil in and um, Yeah, I'm just gonna go again same colors without without the silicone and see if I can get more of this sort of a look because I think the cells kind of just took over just a touch so that's what I'm going to do next so stay tuned hit that little notification bell so that you will be notified automatically when I put up a new video and you'll be able to watch it and um, have a go at these I've seen lots of people doing these now the, the ghost paws they're starting to come through which is lovely to see so um, yeah I will see you for the next pour Bye for now.